Hey, this is me, the creator this time. Um, and I'm just out here to give out a little disclaimer. This is All of this is just a very fictional sketch. Um, none of this actually happened in real life outside of the fact that I did indeed go to Comic-Con, right? Uh, this is all just a skit. That's all I just made for good fun, right? Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy it. And just remember, all this is fake. See you guys next time. <sighs> you two dumb has managed to get us kicked out of comic-con this year somehow kang i'll get to you later because honestly i expect like something like this to happen with you even with queen babysitting you but harold harold i expected better from you so how the fuck did you get kicked out Oh, come on, man. Harold, we talked about this. If you keep freaking out over every single match of Street Fighter, then it's not going to be Kang who's going to need a PR manager. It's going to be you. Do I need to remind you of the Battle Club incident? Oh, creator, you don't need to remind him because I remind him of that incident every single day. Kang, don't, don't get too snarky. There's still the question that's on everyone's mind. What the f*** did you do this time? Um, well... <laughs> Okay, so it started off with Quain and I walking around the ground floor, right? Um, we were just walking around my own business, buying a bunch of stuff and all that, like as, you know, most convention goers do, right? When all of a sudden, this dude showed up and walked up to us and said, Hey, Quain isn't fit to roll by your side, Kane. She's just stuck to bodyguard and she's a woman, blah, 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 sex and stuff, right? And, you know... I love Quinn a lot, so much so that I have to kind of, you know, defend her honor and all that. So I clocked the guy, took off his jaw, and got kicked out, despite the fact that I was, you know, the entire time saying, hey, it was a crime of love, man. It was a crime of passion. You know, I, I had to defend my girl, right? But they didn't listen to reason, sir. So, you know, I just got kicked out, stuck on my chin. And in the end, I did stand up for what I believed was right, despite the fact that I did get kicked out anyway. <sighs> yeah, that's a likely story, isn't it? Quain, what actually happened? Well, it was after the MK1 panel, right? The hype was through the roof. And, well, you know Kang, right? I mean, you created him. So you know how excited he can get and how he's prone to taking the personality of the character he just saw and making it his own. And the last character he saw was Johnny Cage. I was doing a great job with watching him when I decided to go to the bathroom. I was in there for less than a minute, and when I got back, I found him getting kicked out for not punching someone. And that's how he really got kicked out. Thanks, Quinn. <laughs> you guys are so lucky they didn't ban us. That being said, do you guys have any idea how expensive these f tickets were you can't just go around wasting opportunities like this i thought both of y'all would have known this by now but it seems that y'all guys can't show any sort of constraint in the face of nothing man like oh my gosh you know come on come on i'm, I'm done like y'all Let, let's just go man let's just go oh this is it's nothing let's just go now nothing The f 
you mean you don't have that Alan Scott figure? I swear to me, if you don't give me that figure right now, 